Hello, and welcome to Aston's Vintage Technology Workshop. I recently dug out a Spectrum or three out of the loft, one of them being my original ZX Spectrum Plus, and a couple of rubber key ones that I'd picked up along the way. All of them needed the odd small repair, such as keyboard membranes and general tidying up. But this video is about upgrading the power supplies to the more reliable switch mode 5 volt regulator and buffering the video output through the existing socket on the back with a transistor for a brighter picture. First up, the video buffer. First thing to do is to take the five screws out of the back. I've already done this and I've unplugged the cables. Be careful with the cables as they are very fragile, unless you replace the membrane and the keyboard with a brand new one. There's just one posi drive screw in the middle of the circuit board. The board can be a little fiddly to get out initially. Just be careful and it will release eventually. Remove the top of the modulator. I need to remove the output resistor inside the modulator so that we can connect the transistor through the hole in the side to the connector. Now the 5 volts and video into the modulator can be removed. I'll just bend these up out of the way for the moment. Now just pop the transistor in. I've bent the legs on either side so that they fit into the hole of the circuit board and the modulator. Now slide a short piece of wire through the spare modulator hole and through the end of the connector. I have used an old leg off of a capacitor. And solder both ends. At this point, I'm going to wind the two wires for the modulator up, just in case anybody wants to reinstate them at a later date. It's worth pointing out to make sure the legs of the transistor don't short out to any tracks on the circuit board. Here is a close-up of the work that has been done so far, showing which leg is which and what they're connected to. I've used a BC172, but any transistor that is capable of video would do the job just as well. Make sure that the positive connection is on the outside and the center connection is negative. I want to make sure that the job I've just done works. Yay! This little Traco TSR1-2450 is an efficient replacement for a 7805 regulator, so much so that I can actually remove the heatsink as it will no longer be necessary. It's worth noting that the circuit boards on ZX Spectrums are very delicate, so great care should be taken not to leave the soldering iron on too long. Time to remove the old heatsink and regulator. All 
Also, take note that the input to this new regulator is marked with a dot. Now just a case of popping it all back together and put it on test. Thanks for watching.